In Haiti, a group of handcuffed men were paraded before the media on Thursday. Suspects, police said, in the assassination of President Jovenel Moïse. Authorities called them a commando unit, trained and heavily armed, and said they were all foreigners, including 26 Colombians and two Haitian Americans. Also on display, assault rifles, machetes, bolt cutters, and Colombian passports. Police held the press event following a raid on a house near the scene of the crime. They said three suspects have been killed, with eight still on the run. Moise was fatally shot at his home Wednesday. A massive blow for a country already struggling with crushing poverty, political chaos and gang violence. Colombia's defense minister said there was preliminary evidence that the Colombian suspects were retired military. The national government, our police and army have given instructions for immediate collaboration. The complete cooperation of our forces is with our fellow Republic of Haiti. Authorities have identified the American suspects, but the U.S. State Department has not confirmed they are citizens. Haiti's police claim the local community helped track down the suspected killers, but have called for residents not to take justice into their own hands. More than a dozen suspects detained in connection to the assassination of Haiti's president. Haitians on and off the island demanding justice for the slaying of their president. At least one of the suspected gunmen has South Florida connections. Specifically to a charity based out of Broward County. Seven's Andrew Scheinthal live in North Lauderdale this morning where one of those accused suspects used to work. Andrew. And something that's very alarming about this suspect is that we have now learned that he used to be a bodyguard at the Canadian Embassy in Haiti. Where do you go when you have a story that says your own people hurt you, your own people took out your leader? The assassination of the Haitian president was shocking news to the Haitian community living in South Florida. Now another unbelievable revelation. One of the suspects arrested in the assassination is James Solage, a Haitian American with a South Florida based charity. This new video out of Haiti shows some of the assassination suspects handcuffed sitting on the floor and it appears to include Solage. In an undated video, a man who is identified as Solage is seen with school children in Haiti. <laughs> I went down there to help in the education center because I want to return to the area to help facilitate education. His charity's website asked for donations to support the growth and development of underprivileged people in Haiti and fund scholarships of Haitian students. I decided on my own to return to the area that helped me so I could give back. The website also describes Solage as the former chief commander of bodyguards for the Canadian Embassy in Haiti. It says Solage currently works as a corporate executive as a consultant in different locations throughout South Florida. I'm just, you see, I'm just heard in Facebook. 
This woman says she heard about the arrest on social media. Her husband worked with Solage's charity, which as of Thursday night, went offline. No explanation. Solage often wrote about charitable works on social media, but posted on Twitter last year. We live in a crazy time. It's not loyalty or no real genuine love. It's all about what a person can get out of you or how they can use you until you're of no use anymore. Stay prayed up and protect your energy. To have a president in your own country, to have outsiders coming in to plan some kind of assassination like this, to me is very disturbing. And we do know, according to the Herald, there's another man by the name of Joseph Vincent from South Florida who's currently in police custody in connection to that assassination. We're live in North Lauderdale. I'm Andrew Scheinthal, 7 News.